Welcome back to another K-pop lyrics breakdown. Um, this is Seventeen's My Eye. Um, I don't know much about this band, uh, but uh, the song's not too bad, I guess. Uh, not my favorite, but definitely the lyrics are quite easy. So if you're studying Korean and you like this band, um, put this on replay because uh, you're gonna learn a lot, and it's gonna the patterns are gonna be ingrained in you because the constructions are really simple, the sentence constructions. So uh, without further ado. Let's get into it. Um, so we'll start off with ange. Ange means um, fog. Sok is inside. And so inside the fog. Hrit hada means foggy or cloudy. So hrit hajiman. Jiman means but. So this whole phrase here means um, inside a fog, it's cloudy but. Okay, just remember Koreans, they often end sentences with but or because or other conjunctions. Um, in English, it's kind of weird. But in Korean, it's very normal. K soge. So inside there. K means like that or there. Sok means like inside. And E is like location particle. So inside there. Nugunga iso. Someone is there. Nugunga means someone. Uh, nugu, just to break this down further, nugu by itself is a question word. It means who. But if you add nian and ga there, nugunga means someone. Okay? Uh, so it can, changes from who to someone. Iso means like exist is so uh someone is nugunga iso kusoge inside there okay um na na by itself is i but it is a combination of na and nu it's a contraction really na becomes na so actually this is direct object particle it means um this is what's going to receive the action so it becomes me right so me Nikki, Nikki da means feel. So feel me, dit. Dit just means like like or as if. So this this phrase here, na nikki dit. So as if can feel me. And iksukhajiman, iksukhada means like familiar or I'm used to it kind of, I'm familiar. And chiman is but again. So this whole phrase means um, <clears throat> as if can feel me and it's familiar, but it's different. Tala, tala, tala means different, different, different. Okay? Um, just a quick disclaimer about this song. It sounds like it's kind of talking very like um, referring to like supernatural forces or like time traveling or uh, some very sci-fi stuff. Okay, so it might not make immediate sense if you are uh, looking at the lyrics from like a uh, like a regular love story. It's not. Okay, so let's keep going on. Tell me about it. All right, so here's where it gets super trippy. Okay, um, oran konji karan konji. Uh, very. This is actually not a simple phrase construction. Um, contradict what I said in the beginning. Uh, but it just means like to come or go. Okay, konji. Uh, it's a way to make us kind of a question. Like, uh, is that true, or or is it? Okay, and oran is a sh short form of oranun. And karan is karan, and I guess I'll write it out. Okay, and if you study ranun or any lago, it just means like, is it true or no? Sorry, that's it's hard to explain really in English. There's no real equivalent. It just means like coming. You said coming, or you say going. That's what it, that's what I would kind of translate this roughly in English. Are you saying to come or go? And here's a little easier. Hundenen son, un. Okay, so hundelda means to wave. Okay, but then when you put a nun in front of it, which makes it an adjective, um, describing the next word, the waving hand, son is hand, um, the real is gone. That's why I said hundelda, but then when you conjugate it with a, sorry, not conjugate it, when you add this nun here, the real is gone. Okay, it happens with almost any uh, adjective or verb that ends with the real. So hundenen son means the waving hand and this is just a topic particle okay um musun that means what or which this that is sang right it's different from this one that we just saw earlier um 
This one just means like meaning. So musuntut means what meaning? Ilka, um, well musuntusieyo, it means what's the meaning? And this ilka just kind of makes a question. Okay, so what is the meaning? Musun, musuntusu, ilka. <laughs> Sorry, musuntusilka. So what this whole phrase means here is, is your waving hand saying is telling me to come or go? Okay, that's what it means. Oran konji, karan konji. Okay. Don't worry too much about this part. It's kind of complicated. Tell me about it. That's English. So I'm not going to explain that. Um, do. Do means two. Ge means like, um, like it's, it's a counter, right? One class, one glasses, sorry, <laughs> one glasses, two glasses of milk, three glasses of milk, right? Four cups of butter. Um, those are cups and glasses are counters, right? This ge is another counter. So do ge means two. Ui is like a, um, a particle possessive particle it just means apostrophe yes in english right in english we has, we say for example um the girls table right you gotta put apostrophe yes it shows the table belongs to the girl so a duge ui chigu um so the two worlds okay uh chigu means uh earth did i put world here which means earth uh ka is a subject particle and itamyon Itamyon, well, myon by itself means if. Um, tamyon also means if. There's a slight difference between the two. Uh, I made a video for it. You should check it out. And this it is just the um, the existing particle. Oh, sorry, this is the existing verb. The verb to mean to be or to exist. So what this phrase means is if there were two worlds. Okay? If there were two worlds. To darun. To means like another. And tarun means different. So I mean, this it just means like another. <laughs> you you'll hear do darun put together a lot. Do uh, darun na that's me or I. Il sudo iso. So ida means to exist. Okay, it's kind of similar to ita, uh, but this one's more like to be. Um, and u sudo iso. I'll just <laughs> kind of combine this. This do you know we need to hear u su iso means like it's possible can okay so possible for what possible to be so it's possible that there could be another me na, another me okay and this do it just kind of emphasizes that this is a possibility do has many different meanings um so it's gonna i'm not gonna translate like with one word in english you just gotta see where it's used in context, okay? Um, but yeah, that's what it is so far. Let's keep it going on. Oh, sorry, I just passed by a little bit. Let's go back. All right. Han korum. So han means one, right? Before we learn, uh, do means two, han is one. Uh, korum means step. And kakai, so kakapta means kakapta means close. Okay, when you conjugate it, the p up is gone. So kakapta, when you conjugate it, kakai, it means like closely, I guess. Um, kamyon, ka is go, and myon is like if. So if I go one step close, closely, okay. Kot kil, uh, kot means like flower, and kil means like road, and e is location particle. So on this flower road. Um, kashi is like a thorn. Ga, pio, pio means like to grow. Um, so, <laughs> what this really means is if I walk on this 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 flower road, I might get, you know, I guess poked by a thorn. I'm not sure what they really mean. Why you have to walk on a flower road? Who knows? Um, it's what seventeen does. Kute uh, is like that time, and non is the contraction of nonun, right? Put together very quickly. Non, non, non. Uh, 그때 non na is uh, again me right na and 를 combined together another contraction um, 구하러 so 구하다 means to save this 도 means like in order to or my goal is to save okay but actually it's the other person I guess the girl non so you save me <laughs> uh, in order to save me this is the the hand 
you extend. Son means hand again. And nemiro is like to extend or stretch out your hand. Okay? So let me just explain this part is, so when I walk through this road, I guess this part, right? And there's a thorns are growing. Uh, at that time, you, in order to save me, a hand you stick out. And this is me, okay? I know in English, the word me usually ends up at the end. But in Korean, it doesn't. The verb ends up at the end. Miro, ne miro, which means like extend your hand. Okay, let's keep it going on. Hey! Okay, so this is where it gets really kind of trippy. Um, I'm not, I'm no idea what they're talking about. Uh, time traveling, I guess. Shigan is like time. China means like to pass, so time passes by. And so could mean like and, or it could also mean like so. So uh, time passes by, and so. Uh, no is, you know, you. And this is direct object particle. So that means this verb is going to affect this person. Sorry, here. Manada uh, means to meet. Myon means if. Okay. Shigan chinaso, noder manamyon. So if time pass time passes and if I meet you, um, I'll know that you are my future. Non is you, contraction of nonun. And na is uh, I. And ui again, it means like this thing belongs to I. So we say kind of translate to my. So you, my future are or were yeah because this is past tense mide means future so you were my future <laughs> if that makes sense you were my future were is past tense future is what future tense um but yeah that's the that's the breakdown of this sentence right here you were my future and i'll also know that i am your nan is contraction of nanun no is your right uh oje yotta oje means yesterday so I was your yesterday. Again, the sangshit here makes it past tense. Okay? Mide yotta. Uh, yeah. Super, super strange. Let's keep it going on. All right. So um, again, we have the same thing. Shigan jinaso norul manamyon. So time passes by, and if I meet you, um, I'll know that you niga is you. Okay, if it's spelled like this, that's I. Okay, but um, it's spelled like this. So you uh, me chikyo chotta protected me. Chikyo chotta. Chikida means to protect. Um, juda means like for me. Um, but when you conjugate juda, it becomes juo, and here's the sangshio, which means past tense. So I'll know, ah, uh, you protected me, and I'll know, I, uh, you, karmang hetta. Karmang hetta just means I wanted. Okay, um, so thanks so much for checking this out. Um, extremely strange song, but the sentences are quite easy to decipher, and I hope that you liked it. You learn something, okay? So, if you have any requests, please let me know. Um, if you like what I do, subscribe, share, and pass it on to any of your classmates if you are studying um, in a Korean class, okay? All right, I'll see you next time. 다음에 봐요. 감사합니다.